lovelies? How's everybody doing today? Guess what? It is week 21. That means next week is officially five months post-op. What? Where's the time gone? I have no idea where the time is going. I was watching all my videos last night on my progress and I was looking back on some of the things that I was mentioning on pre-op and then a couple of days post-op on just how much has changed. Excuse the background noise. I've got the Thanksgiving Day Parade on and Caden's on the computer. So happy Thanksgiving, I want to say first before we go anywhere else. Today I am thankful for um, the surgery. I was uh, I had surgery in Tijuana, Mexico with Dr. Elias Ortiz and uh, one of the best decisions of my life. So I'm super, super thankful that I went this route. I was thinking of the lap band three, four years ago and I'm glad I didn't go that route because I hear most doctors are not doing their lap band anymore. There's always corrosion, slippage, problems having to get revised to a sleeve or gastric bypass. So I'm glad that I had to wait. You know, now that I, even though I was devastated that I couldn't get the surgery, I'm glad that I had to wait. So let's get to stats. I was at 245, my highest weight when I was pregnant with my kids. Um, for I was at 218 to 220. I fluctuated a lot for the last 10 years. Um, my pre-op diet uh, was June 18th, the first day, so I had started about 220, but I think I lost a few pounds before then because I had mentioned on day one that I was like at 213, 214, and I'm like, okay. Well, surgery day I was 208, so since before pre-op I had lost a good 12 pounds from 220. Um, and then uh, the first week I lost 11, or I mean the first month I lost 11 pounds. The second month I lost seven pounds. The third month I've lost five pounds. And then even with the seven week stall that I had, I lost a good five pounds um, in a month. So it's not too bad. I'm actually really happy with my progress. Five pounds a month is five pounds more a month than I did before a surgery. So I'm pretty happy and I feel good. Look at this. I mean, my arms are still blah, but I like to wear tight sleeves so you can't tell. Um, believe in yourself. I have been waiting to wear this sweatshirt. I'm so happy. And then look at this. Look at that, guys. Woo! Oh, don't want to see the tag. But I'm so happy that I'm able to fit in a size 12 pants nice and easily. I mean, they're not, I'm, they're kind of getting a little bit loose, so I know I'm still on my way down. So I'm still in a size 12. My goal by Christmas was 150, but now I realize that may not be a reality because of my body slowing way down and I need to slow down on the carbs as well. I have an addiction to carbs. <laughs> I don't want to have the addiction, but I have an addiction to carbs and it's still really tough to find foods that don't have a lot of carbs. I'm constantly always reading labels. I'm like, oh, this looks good and healthy. Turn around and 28 grams of carbs and only two grams of protein. <laughs> I have to put it back on the shelf and I'm like, Arr! So shopping for food is one of my hardest problems I have ever had this whole journey. That is the only thing is that I can eat anything that is even healthy that have too much carbs in it. And I'm going, okay, this is, I need to, I need to be more aware of carbs. Hold on a second. Okay, so speaking of that, oh, well, oh, before I go on with the rest of this, I, today I weighed in at 161. So that's almost, a, almost 60 pound loss. I'm so close to being 60 pound full loss. I am a slow loser now and I didn't want to be. And I was a fast loser in the beginning, but now I'm just a very slow loser. As long as it keeps going down towards my goal, because I'm at, I want to be at 145, I'd be happy. I just don't like the long intervals between losing weight and five pounds a month. <sighs> it's very frustrating. If I can get down to at least 155 by Christmas, I'd be happy. And I'd be even more happy if I made it to 150. We'll see, can I lose 10 pounds by, by December 25th? Next week we're gonna be doing a lot of walking because we're going to Disneyland next week, so I will not be putting a video out next week. I will be at Disneyland. So you guys are gonna have to miss uh, my uh, five month, my five month surgery 
Um, but I will update that following weekend or the following day, and I'll do two updates. Anyhow, um, I got these two books off of Amazon. Weight Loss Surgery Cookbook. It starts from the pre-op diet, and it goes till all the way past. Like, uh, there's easy vegetarian chili on how to make that. French style lentils with eggs, three cheese egg bake, one dish vegetable hot pot, and there's just a lot of stuff in here. Porridge with apple, cinnamon, and pecans. That one is 10 grams of protein and whew, 37 grams of carbohydrates. See, that's my thing is that I gotta lay off the carbohydrates and almost everything I eat has high carbohydrates and it's very frustrating. So this is a really good book. It's called Weight Loss, Sur uh, Weight Loss Surgery Cookbook. So you guys can see, I got it off of Amazon. I don't remember how much, I think it was like 11, $12. This one I know is $12. The Complete Idiot's Guide to Eating Well After Weight Loss Surgery. This is an amazing book. I love this book. Look how many, look how thick this is. You can get a lot of ideas and maybe you know if things slow down in my life I'll be able to cook some of these things for videos for you guys so you don't have to read the whole book but they got maple blueberry muffins and um, ways to do it healthy south of the border beef salsa that sounds good taco dip salsa turkey burgers how to make them by hand cream of broccoli and cheddar soup I mean they have so many things so I can't run out of ideas for dinner, and I know that most of these, my family will eat. So, these are great books, I got them off of Amazon, you can just look up weight loss surgery books, I think. Um, but this one is The Complete Idiot's Guide to Eating Well After Weight Loss Surgery, and this one's Weight Loss Surgery Cookbook. <laughs> I'm so happy that I got these, I have yet to pull them out because I've had such a busy, busy life. I will eventually. Uh, I think I've only made one thing from the book so far. Anyway, so um, I hope everybody has a wonderful Thanksgiving and I got to get to getting ready to leave up to my parents house. I will let you guys know what I eat. I'm sure I'm just going to eat a, a protein first. That's the most important thing is get your proteins in first then you guys can have if you're gonna eat bad and I don't expect to, for me to eat good all day today um, I may have a little bit of sweets now and then and if I have dumping syndrome dumping syndrome may not be worth it I don't know <laughs> but uh, I, I am I'm probably gonna have some pumpkin pie that has sugar in it and I'm not gonna over uh, assert myself on food so obviously protein first so which is like turkey and protein-based foods, get your proteins in first. Then if you have enough food uh, for your stomach, if your stomach has enough uh, room left, you can nibble on the bad things afterwards. So I plan on having mashed and gravy and some deviled eggs that I'm gonna be making today. So other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving. Thank you so much for watching. If you just started watching and you just subscribed to this channel and you are gonna be making videos as well uh, and you are making weight loss surgery videos let me know down in the comments below I'd love to come over and subscribe to you guys I love watching all your videos and um, there's quite a few new people getting surgery I don't have my list with me I'm so overwhelmed with busyness I can't remember anyway uh, this video is 10 minutes long so we're just gonna let you go shout out to all the new people who are going to be getting their surgery I'm so 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 sorry I can't remember any of your names at the moment I have a list somewhere I just don't know where it is it's a holiday I'm busy <sighs> so so sorry but I will shout you out the next uh, video so I love you guys have a wonderful Thanksgiving and we will see you guys in two weeks for my next update. Um, yeah, love you. Ciao, bye. Kaden, can you move away from my camera, please? Thank you. You're coughing in my camera. Uh, I'm kidding, yes, Kaden. Can I have a candy cane? No. I will we'll bring some candy canes up there, but you have to eat uh, some turkey first, and, and then we'll give you a candy cane, okay? Okay, so instead of, uh, can I have some big moons? Yes. Uh, vlog anniversary. I mean, that'd be one of the best birthday Christmas uh, birthday birthday Christmas presents. Um, Jordan Sparks. Uh, 
You kind of. I think that'll be okay. 